The morning of July 5, 2017, marked a pivotal moment for Alpha Zero Two, a mysterious figure known only by his pseudonym in the dark web community. Seated comfortably in his luxurious villa in Bangkok, surrounded by the trappings of wealth, Alpha Zero Two suddenly faced a startling disruption. The loud crash of a Toyota Camry call iding with his front gate. Without hesitation, Alpha Zero Two abandoned his secure environment and rushed outside, drawn to the scene of the accident. Little did he know, this impulsive decision would have grave consequences. The driver responsible for the crash turned out to be an agent of the Royal Thai Police Force, acting on behalf of a multinational task force that included the FBI and DEA. For months, investigators from seven countries had meticulously planned and executed their strategy to apprehend Alpha Zero Two, a notorious figure believed to be the kingpin of the dark web. His arrest was the culmination of relentless international cooperation and intelligence gathering. Now, with Alpha Zero Two exposed and vulnerable, the question hung in the air. Would this be the moment when the elusive king of the dark web finally met his end? In the early 2010s, the dark web began to gain momentum as a platform promising anonymity and privacy, drawing increasing numbers of users. One of the key enablers of this growth was Bitcoin, which provided a decentralized form of payment beyond the control of authorities. This development made it significantly easier for criminals to conduct illicit transactions on a large scale, fueling a burgeoning underground economy. As criminal activities flourished on the dark web, law enforcement agencies worldwide faced a daunting challenge. The global game of cat and mouse intensified, with authorities striving to track down and apprehend the individuals behind these illegal operations. Operation Bayonet, as detailed in Andy Greenberg's series and the Darknet Diaries podcast episode, stands as a notable example of law enforcement's efforts to dismantle criminal networks operating on the dark web. This ongoing battle underscores the complex interplay between technology, crime, and law enforcement in the digital age. The dark web continues to evolve, presenting new challenges and opportunities for both criminals and those dedicated to combating cybercrime. The Silk Road stands out as one of the most iconic dark web marketplaces in history, having launched in February 2011 and quickly gaining immense popularity. It served as a platform where over 100,000 customers purchased various drugs and illicit goods. However, its notoriety led to its demise just 2.5 years later when law enforcement caught up with its operator. The closure of Silk Road marked a significant moment in the fight against online drug trafficking, with its founder receiving a life sentence as a deterrent. Despite Silk Road's shutdown, the lucrative nature of dark web markets persisted, leading to a proliferation of new platforms vying for dominance. Silk Road 2.0 emerged a mere 35 days after the original's closure, but survived for less than a year before facing similar legal scrutiny. Evolution, another prominent marketplace, operated similarly to Silk Road, utilizing Bitcoin for transactions held in escrow until goods were delivered to customers. These dark web markets thrived on anonymity and the unregulated nature of cryptocurrency transactions, attracting both buyers seeking anonymity and sellers looking to exploit the online marketplace for profit. The rapid rise and fall of these platforms underscore the ongoing challenge for law enforcement in combating illegal activities in the digital underground. The rise of Alphabi in the dark web marketplace landscape was swift and impactful. Launched by a figure known as Alpha Zero Two in July 2014, Alphabi initially dealt in stolen credit card data but quickly expanded to offer a wide array of illicit products and services. This included drugs, weapons, malware, and even money laundering services, reflecting the growing sophistication and diversity of offerings in the dark web economy. Despite the broad range of goods available on Alphabi, there were strict prohibitions against certain items, notably those related to child abuse, hidden runs, and stolen bank account information from Russia. These restrictions were likely in place to avoid attracting unwanted attention from Russian law enforcement agencies, indicating a calculated approach to operating within the boundaries of international legal jurisdictions. The success of Alphabi highlighted the ongoing challenges faced by law enforcement in combating illegal activities on the dark web. Exit scams, arrests, voluntary shutdowns, and hacking incidents continued to shape the volatile landscape of dark web marketplaces, 
where anonymity and encrypted transactions enabled operators to operate beyond traditional legal boundaries. Alphabet's success on the dark web was indeed formidable, resembling a user-friendly Amazon-like marketplace that facilitated transactions in Bitcoin, Monero, or Ethereum to ensure anonymity. Its operational model included sophisticated features like a tumbler to obscure transaction trails by bundling multiple payments, further enhancing user security. By offering a broad range of products including drugs, weapons, malware, and more, Alphabi attracted a substantial user base. Within a year of its founding in 2014, it boasted over 200,000 registered users and 40,000 active sellers. By 2017, Alphabi had expanded significantly, listing over 300,000 items and generating daily sales exceeding half a million dollars. This success translated into substantial profits for Alpha02, who earned a commission of 2 to 4% on every transaction, amassing considerable wealth and establishing himself as a multimillionaire. Alphabi's organizational structure included a dedicated team handling various aspects of operations. Notably, Alpha02 was supported by a representative named DeSnake, moderators tasked with resolving disputes between buyers and sellers, and a public relations manager to maintain the platform's image. Despite its dominance and apparent success, Alphabet's operations would eventually attract the attention of international law enforcement agencies, leading to its dramatic downfall in 2017. With the site's explosive success, the founder decides to retire from day-to-day -day operations. He renames himself Alpha02, simply becomes admin. From now on, communication only runs through the snake. As Alpha02 retreats, American investigators are increasingly focused on uncovering his true identity, who is the powerful mastermind behind the platform ruling the dark side of the internet. Thus begins a global hunt that will span several years. Law enforcement agencies from multiple countries, including the FBI and DEA, collaborate to track down the elusive leader of Alphabi. The operation is complex and involves advanced cyber investigation techniques and international cooperation. The authority's goal is to dismantle the largest dark web marketplace and bring its operators to justice. Alphabi's rise and fall illustrate the ongoing cat and mouse game between dark web operators and global law enforcement. The site's founder may have thought he could hide behind layers of anonymity, but the relentless pursuit by investigators shows the lengths to which authorities will go to combat cybercrime. The American investigators want to find out where Alphabi's servers are located. With access to the servers, they can close the platform or secretly infiltrate it, and perhaps locate the operators. IP addresses provide information about the locations of users and servers. In closed networks like TOR, website requests are routed through a number of random servers around the world. Routing through many servers cannot be traced back. It is purposely made difficult to find out where servers, operators, and sellers are located. Because of that, the American investigators had to try a different way. They start browsing the platform and buy drugs anonymously, hoping for any mistakes by the sellers. Perhaps the product's packaging or postage stamps can provide clues to the identity of the respective drug dealer. Then they could arrest him. But these are just the small fish. Dealers come and go. Investigators want Alpha Zero too. As the operation progresses, investigators meticulously gather intelligence, analyze patterns, and follow leads. They engage in a painstaking game of digital cat and mouse, where every minor clue could potentially lead to a breakthrough. By leveraging traditional investigative techniques alongside cutting-edge cyber tools, they inch closer to uncovering the true identity of the man behind Alphabi. Their relentless pursuit underscores the broader struggle between law enforcement and the ever-evolving landscape of cybercrime. But the mastermind behind Alphabi seems to take every precaution. He seems to know every rule of the game. So the investigators become desperate until December 2016. Robert Miller sits behind his desk in Fresno, California. He works for the DEA, the American Drug Law Enforcement Agency. He's working on Alphabi. And until this day, it was a pretty thankless job. But suddenly, an email appears in his inbox. The sender is anonymous. It seems like Alfio 2 made a fatal mistake in the early days of Alphabi. Every user who registered on the website at the time received a welcome email. 
The email address of the true sender was visible in the metadata of this email. Although the error was immediately corrected, the anonymous tipster saved one of those first welcome emails. Maybe the tipster was one of Alpha 02's first customers, maybe an operator of a competing site that got a hold of the mail somehow. Who knows? The email metadata revealed a single, crucial piece of information. The email address belonged to alfabi at sagaint.org. This was the break Miller and his team needed. They began to dig deeper, analyzing the email address and tracing its origins. This address was used to register the domain and to send initial welcome messages to Alphabi users. The investigators used this clue to follow the digital breadcrumbs that Alpha02 had left behind. In their investigation, the team discovered that the email address had been linked to several online accounts and activities that could potentially lead to Alpha02's true identity. They started cross-referencing the email address with known databases, social media profiles, and other online resources. Each connection they found brought them one step closer to uncovering the person behind the pseudonym. Their hard work paid off. The email address was eventually linked to Alexander Cases, a Canadian citizen living in Thailand. Cases had been living a lavish lifestyle, with luxury cars and expensive properties, all funded by his illegal activities on Alphabi. The investigators now had a name and a location. The hunt for Alpha-02 had finally reached its critical stage. With the help of Thai authorities, the DEA and FBI coordinated a plan to apprehend cases and shut down Alphabi once and for all. They begin to monitor Alexander cases closely. They track his movements and gather evidence to build a strong case against him. Kaze's lavish lifestyle in Bangkok becomes evident as they observe his frequent visits to upscale locations and his ownership of luxury cars and properties. On July 5th, 2017, the authorities finally make their move. The Royal Thai Police, along with FBI and DEA agents, converge on Kaze's villa in Bangkok. They plan to catch him off guard, and the staged car crash at his front gate provides the perfect distraction. As Kaze's rushes out to investigate the commotion, the agents swoop in and arrest him. Kaze's is taken into custody, and the authorities begin to search his home for evidence. Inside, they find a treasure trove of digital devices and documents that link him to Alphabi. Laptops, smartphones, and external hard drives are seized, all containing incriminating evidence that ties cases to the notorious dark web marketplace. The investigators also find detailed records of Alphabi's operations, including transaction logs, user data, and communications between cases and his team. This evidence not only confirms Kaze's role as Alpha-02, but also provides critical insights into the inner workings of the dark web platform. With Kaze's arrest, the authorities move quickly to shut down Alphabi. They seize the servers and take the site offline, dealing a significant blow to the dark web's criminal activities. The takedown of Alphabi sends shockwaves through the online underworld, as users and operators scramble to cover their tracks and avoid detection. The case against Alexander Cases is solid, and he faces numerous charges related to drug trafficking, money laundering, and other illegal activities facilitated by Alphabi. However, before he can be extradited to the United States to stand trial, Cases is found dead in his Thai prison cell under mysterious circumstances. His death sparks speculation and conspiracy theories, but the official cause is ruled as suicide. The fall of Alphabi marks a significant victory for law enforcement agencies around the world. It demonstrates their ability to infiltrate and dismantle even the most sophisticated criminal enterprises operating on the dark web. Yet, the battle against online crime continues as new marketplaces emerge to take Alphabi's place, and the cat and mouse game between criminals and investigators goes on. The agents remain calm continuing their conversation as if nothing unusual is happening. Cases, unaware of their true identities, walks past them and exits the hotel, leaving the agents relieved but more cautious. This close encounter highlights the risk and tension involved in tracking such a high-profile target. As July approaches, the investigators finalize their plans for the arrest. They coordinate with Thai authorities to ensure the operation runs smoothly. On the morning of July 5th, 2017, everything is set in motion. The staged car crash outside Kaze's villa creates the necessary distraction. When Kaze's rushes out to investigate, the authorities make their move, arresting him without incident. 
Following his arrest, the search of Kaze's properties yields significant evidence linking him to Alfabi. His laptops contain detailed transaction records, and his digital devices store communications between him and his team. The authorities also find large sums of money in various currencies, further confirming his involvement in the dark web marketplace. The takedown of Alfabi is a major victory for law enforcement. The platform is swiftly taken offline, and users worldwide are left scrambling. The dark web community is shaken, and the closure of Alfabi serves as a warning to other operators. Despite the success, the mystery surrounding Kaze's death in custody remains. His sudden demise raises questions and fuels conspiracy theories. Officially ruled a suicide, many speculate about the circumstances leading to his death. Was it truly self-inflicted, or was there foul play involved to silence him permanently? The investigation continues as authorities examine the wealth of information obtained from Kaze's devices. The insights gathered not only help in understanding the operations of Alfabi, but also provide leads on other dark web activities. The battle against online crime is far from over, and law enforcement agencies remain vigilant, ready to dismantle any new threats that emerge. In the aftermath, the legacy of Alfabi and its elusive founder, Alexander Kazes, becomes a cautionary tale. It serves as a stark reminder of the ongoing struggle between the anonymity promised by the dark web and the relentless pursuit of justice by those determined to uphold the law. The hunt for the kingpin might have ended, but the war against the dark web continues, with both sides constantly adapting and evolving in this high-stakes game of cat and mouse. The coordination between the various law enforcement agencies is unprecedented, and the simultaneous takedown of both Alfabi and Hansa Market is set in motion. The plan is to use the disruption of Alfabi to drive its users towards Hansa Market, which by then would be under the control of the authorities. This would allow investigators to gather further intelligence and potentially identify more users and sellers involved in illegal activities. On July 5, 2017, while Alexander Cases is arrested in Bangkok, the FBI and DEA, with the cooperation of other international agencies, execute a coordinated strike on Alpha Bay RS Infrastructure Re, effectively shutting down the largest dark web marketplace. The news of Alphabi's closure spreads quickly among the dark web community, causing panic and uncertainty. In the Netherlands, the Dutch authorities, in coordination with the BKA and Lithuanian authorities, take control of the Hansa market servers. The plan is successful, and for a brief period, the site continues to operate normally, with users unaware that they are now being monitored by law enforcement. The operation's success relies on the seamless execution of both actions. As Alphabi users scramble to find alternative marketplaces, many migrate to Hansa Market, unaware that it is a trap. The authorities meticulously gather data on the new influx of users, documenting their transactions and communications. Despite the meticulous planning and execution, the news of Kaze's death a week later casts a shadow over the operation. On July 12, 2017, Alexander Kaze's is found dead in his prison cell in Bangkok. The official ruling is suicide, but the sudden and unexpected nature of his death fuels speculation and conspiracy theories. Some believe he may have been silenced to prevent him from revealing more information, while others consider the immense pressure he was under. Regardless of the circumstances surrounding his death, the takedown of Alphabi and Hansa Market marks a significant victory in the fight against dark web criminal activities. The operation exposes the vulnerabilities of dark web marketplaces and serves as a deterrent to other operators. In the following weeks, as users realize Hansa Market is compromised, many dark web marketplaces shut down preemptively, fearing similar actions against them. The ripple effect of Operation Bayonet is profound, temporarily destabilizing the dark web's illegal market ecosystem. Law enforcement agencies around the world continue to analyze the vast amount of data collected from the operation, identifying and apprehending individuals involved in various criminal activities. The cooperation and success of Operation Bayonet demonstrate the effectiveness of international collaboration in tackling the complex and global nature of dark web crimes. However, the battle is far from over. As long as the dark web exists, new marketplaces will emerge, and the cat and mouse game between law enforcement and cybercriminals will continue. The legacy of Alphabi and its kingpin, Alexander Cases, 
serves as a stark reminder of the ongoing challenges in the digital age of crime and enforcement. Inside, the authorities locate Alexander Kays' laptop, still unlocked and running. This is a critical moment. Accessing the device without it being encrypted or locked means they can gather immediate and invaluable data on Alpha Bay IS operations and its users. Kays' is taken into custody. As law enforcement combs through his digital devices, they find evidence confirming his role as the mastermind behind Alphabi. The data retrieved from his laptop includes communication logs, transaction records, and other critical information that links him directly to the operations of the dark web marketplace. In parallel, Alphabi's servers are identified and seized. With the platform's infrastructure under their control, the FBI and DEA can shut down the site, effectively ending its operations. As anticipated, the sudden closure of Alphabi leads to a surge of users migrating to the Hansa market, which remains operational and under the covert control of the Dutch authorities. For the next three weeks, Hansa market operates as a honeypot. Law enforcement monitors and collects data on the influx of new users, capturing details of transactions and communications. This surveillance allows them to identify and compile evidence against thousands of individuals involved in illegal activities on the dark web. On July 20, 2017, the operation culminates in a public announcement. Both Alphabi and Hansa Market are taken down, and the coordinated international effort is revealed. The simultaneous closure of these two major dark web marketplaces is a significant blow to the illegal online trade of drugs, weapons, and other contraband. The announcement sends shockwaves through the dark web community. The meticulous planning and execution of Operation Bayonet demonstrate the capability of international law enforcement to infiltrate and dismantle these clandestine networks. The data collected from Hansa Market's brief period as a honeypot leads to numerous arrests and convictions worldwide, further disrupting the dark web's criminal ecosystem. Despite the success of the operation, the news of Alexander Kazisa's death a week later casts a shadow over the achievement. On July 12, 2017, Kazis is found dead in his prison cell in Bangkok, officially ruled a suicide. His death fuels speculation and conspiracy theories, but it also marks the end of one of the most notorious dark web operators. Operation Bayonet stands as a landmark case in the fight against cybercrime. It highlights the importance of international collaboration and the evolving tactics used by law enforcement to combat the ever-changing landscape of online criminal activity. The legacy of Alphabi and Alexander Cases serves as both a warning and a lesson for future dark web operators and the authorities who pursue them. The operation to dismantle Alphabi and Hansa Market is a watershed moment in the fight against dark web criminality. Alexander Cases, alias Alpha02, is caught with his laptop still running and logged into Alphabi servers, providing investigators with immediate and unencrypted access to crucial data. This allows authorities to take down the site and seize his substantial assets, including luxury cars, houses, a hotel, and millions in cryptocurrency. Case's wife faces charges of money laundering, compounding the fall of their criminal empire. The revelation of Case's death in custody on July 12, 2017, adds a grim note to the narrative, officially ending the reign of the king of the dark web. For strategic reasons, the shutdown of Alphabi is initially kept secret. The platform's sudden disappearance triggers speculation among its users, with theories ranging from an exit scam to a hack or retirement by its operators. This uncertainty prompts a mass migration of users to other dark web marketplaces, including the Hansa market, which remains under the covert control of Dutch authorities. During the following weeks, Dutch authorities meticulously monitor the influx of criminals to Hansa market, collecting valuable evidence against thousands of users. This phase of Operation Bayonet is crucial for building cases against those involved in illegal activities. On July 20, 2017, the coordinated takedown is publicly announced. Both Alphabi and Hansa Market are shut down, and the U.S. Department of Justice, along with international partners, declares the operation a significant victory. The dual shutdown sends a powerful message about the reach and effectiveness of global law enforcement against cybercrime and the dark web. This well-coordinated effort highlights the importance of international cooperation in tackling the challenges posed by the dark web, and it significantly disrupts the online criminal landscape.
The success of Operation Bayonet serves as both a deterrent to future dark web operators and a blueprint for continued efforts to combat online illicit activities. The dark web is a complex and multifaceted technology, not inherently evil but often misused. It provides essential safe havens for whistleblowers, journalists, and activists who need to communicate anonymously and securely. Despite this, the dark web is also home to illegal marketplaces like Alphabi, which cater to high demand for drugs, weapons, counterfeit money, and malware. The closure of Alphabi and Hansa Market, although significant, did not mark the end of dark web marketplaces. The global cat and mouse game continues, as the demand for illicit goods remains high. New platforms quickly emerged to fill the void left by Alphabi and Hansa, and many existing platforms saw a surge in users. One such platform, Hydra, a Russian darknet market, grew to be more than twice the size of Alphabi at its peak. However, in 2021, it too was shut down by German and American authorities, illustrating the ongoing efforts of international law enforcement to combat these illegal activities. The cycle persists. The competition for dominance in the dark web marketplace continues unabated. A notable contender for the title of King of the Dark Web is Da Snake, a figure who relaunched Alphabi in 2021. Despite previous crackdowns, Alphabi is back online, indicating the resilience and adaptability of dark web operators. The dark web, with its dual nature, will likely remain a battleground between law enforcement and those who exploit its anonymity for criminal purposes. This ongoing struggle underscores the necessity for continued vigilance, technological advancement, and international cooperation to address the challenges posed by the dark web.